So you keep hearing about this thing called a marketing funnel, but you don't know what it is or how it works. Well, today I'm gonna give you a crash course to get you up to speed, show you why it's amazing, and even give you a few examples that you can use right now. My name is Trent Canelli. I'm a marketing strategist, and on this channel, I talk about all of the best strategies to improve your online business and increase your sales. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I put those videos out every Thursday at noon Eastern time. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first, what is a marketing funnel? A marketing funnel is a way of exposing your brand to as many people as possible and then pushing them down towards the sale constantly. So the idea here is that you start with a lot and then as you're getting people more and more exposed to your brand and you're, you're cultivating them more and more, you're getting to a few qualified leads that are gonna buy from you. And it's called a funnel because it looks like a funnel, not because every bit of water is eventually gonna go down. That would be nice, but a lot of people at the top are really sloughing off, okay? So just consider this as I, ha I start with a pool of let's say 100, by the time I'm in the middle, I might have a pool of 50, and by the time I'm at the bottom, I might have 10. That's okay. Those 10 people are the ones that you were targeting in the first place. And maybe you're gonna to continue to push people through on those top and middle levels anyway. So the way that we break down a marketing funnel is in three aspects. We look first at the top of the funnel. So the top of the funnel is just you trying to expose them to your brand. You're trying to reach as many people as possible. And so you wanna look at how many impressions that you've had as exposure to your brand uh, with people. You wanna look at how many people have visited your website and that's pretty much it. It's pretty surface level stuff. And then you have the middle of funnel. So in the middle of funnel, you've already introduced yourself to people. They already know who you are and you are trying to cultivate that relationship further. You're trying to interest them more. You're trying to get them to see why you are important, why you're better than the others. And so you're looking at page views, you're looking at bounce rate. And if you want to know a little bit more about bounce rate, by the way, you can check out this video. You want to look at video plays, downloads, that sort of stuff. And then finally, the bottom of funnel is where you're trying to get them to convert. So they're already really interested, they're invested. It's just a question of how can I get them to take that next step to make the purchase? So the metrics that you're looking at here are leads, phone calls, uh, pricing discussions, that sort of stuff. You're trying to get them to buy. So you can see very clearly that the people at the top are mostly not gonna be there at the bottom. And if you get that 10% at the bottom, you're good to go. Okay, so why does this work? Well, let's start with the idea that you have 10 to 12 marketing touches typically to convert someone from being first exposed to your brand to actually buying, okay? that's that, It's not that it, they go away and you lose them forever after that point, but that's just typically what it takes, okay? So you can take advantage of understanding where you are in the funnel to make those steps, those marketing touches most effective. So for instance, if you're in the first one, then you know that you need to just kind of introduce yourself to them. You need to make it so that they understand what it is that you do and a little bit about why you're better, but really mostly just introducing you and, and getting them interested in what your offering is. Once you're in that middle funnel step, so that's two to I would say nine marketing touches, then you're building trust. And so what you're doing there is you're showing them why you're better than competitors. You're understanding how to add those blinder effects by making it really clear that you know what you're talking about way more than anybody else. You're also getting them to do downloads and uh, make little commitments to you because those little commitments build the trust with them. So you're possibly getting them to give you your email address through downloads uh, so that you can start working them towards those bigger ticket items. And you're also finally addressing the pains at this level that they're also, that they're specifically having, okay? So whatever specific pains that they're having, maybe that's, I don't know how to email well enough, or uh, I don't know how to do YouTube, for instance. Those specific pains are gonna be addressed by you in this middle of funnel area. And then finally, you understand that once they're in the middle of funnel, it's gonna be much easier to get them to understand why actually buying from you is going to be beneficial. So you're taking them from that, yes, I know a lot, to listen, I know the most, but you're only gonna get it if you pay, <laughs> okay? Or, hey, this product is the best, but you're only gonna get it if you pay. <laughs> so you're getting them to put those blinders on more and more gradually so that they don't see any competitors. I, I've certainly been victim to this, not that I regret any of those decisions, but <laughs> I, I can definitely see where this funnel effect has made me personally much more susceptible to wanting to buy somebody's specific product that I've then benefited from afterwards. 
So those are just a few of the reasons that marketing funnels work really, really well. I would love to know if you have any other reasons that you see that marketing funnels are working well, or maybe even just let me know in the comments why you think this would work for you. Okay, so let's go through a few examples. The first one I wanna talk about is a free ebook marketing funnel. And let's look at Brian Dean's channel as an example for this. So Brian Dean, he's got an awesome YouTube channel. You should check it out if you get a chance. But in any case, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna to go to his page on e-commerce SEO. You're gonna to click to download that guide because it looks really interesting. And then it gives you a pop-up to enter your email address. So you enter your email address there. What you don't see is that now it goes into his email address system. He registers the email in his system. It goes through an automation that then asks you to double opt in. Once you get that email that says, hey, come download the ebook, you're double opting in, okay? And so you are gonna click on that email to take you to a landing page back on his site, backlinko.com, and that's going to allow you to download the ebook from there. So what just happened is you paid for the ebook in exchange for your email address. And so now at this point, you're gonna get advertised to until you come back to the site and decide whether you wanna buy from him again. Okay, then another example is a webinar funnel. So this is for middle of funnel and bottom of funnel. Typically, it's for people who are thinking about buying. So what you're doing is you're, you're encouraging them to sign up for a webinar so that they can get more information and get more excited. So let's just use fulltimefilmmaker.com for this one because they have a great automated webinar setup. So what you do is you sign up for free. It's right on the landing page, on the homepage, whatever it is. Uh, it allows you to, most of the time, watch it right away or within five to 10 minutes. You watch it, you see the, oh, there's a bunch of other people that are on here. Uh, there are all these people that are commenting on the webinar about how excited they are. The webinar itself provides huge value. And in the near middle or the end of the webinar, you're offering them a discount for buying right now. So you're adding that urgency right there for them to buy. And then at the end, they're either gonna buy or they're gonna get emailed, okay? So when they buy, they get put into a list and they're uh, maybe cross-sold or upsold in the future. If they are getting emailed, it's because they didn't buy by the end and you wanna to continue to push them through the funnel. And if you wanna understand and take huge advantage of these funnels, you should really have a visual understanding of how they work. So I've attached in the description my layout for my top five funnels, what you should be doing at each level of the funnel and how to push people from one step to the next. So check that out in the description. So now you should have a much better idea about what this is and how it works. In my next video, I'm gonna walk through a couple of different strategies to make sure that you can get the best out of this. So make sure you stay tuned for that. In the meantime, make sure that you check out these other videos on my channel and I will catch you in the next one.